Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. You're watching TechTubers and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can download the latest version of Windows 10 ISO file. Now this method works well for both home users as well as enterprise users. So watch the whole video without skipping. But before going ahead with the video, if you're here in a channel for the first time, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Moving ahead, to download the ISO file, first we are going to go to the search engine and type download windows 10 ISO file. Once you find the link at the top of the search results, go ahead and click on it. Now you will reach the official site of Microsoft and there you can find the option in a blue box that says download tool now. Once you click on the blue button, it is going to download an exe file to your computer. After it gets downloaded, left click on the download file. The software is going to launch and it will look something like this. The process of setting up your ISO file for Windows 10 has now begun. Have a look into the licensing and terms and conditions and click on accept. Now once that is done, you'll get two options. The first one says upgrade your PC now and the another one says create an installation media for another PC. Since over here we want to create an ISO file for Windows 10, we're gonna select the second option here and click on next. Over here in the next window we get three options to choose from. First is the language, second is the edition, about which edition we want to download. In our case it is Windows 10. And lastly the third one we can select the architecture that is either 32 bit, 62 bit or both. After you're done selecting the right configuration, click on next. Now in the next window, you're gonna get two options to select from. The first one is for USB file and the another one is for the ISO file. As you want to create an ISO file, we're gonna go ahead and select the second option and click on next. Finally, you'll see a window where you can rename your ISO file and assign it a location. I'm going to rename it to Windows 10 Upgrade and keep the location to download folder. And now for the final step, click on save. There you will see that your file has been created in the specific location given here. All you gotta do now is click on finish and your ISO file has been created. And there you can see your ISO file is right there in the specified folder which you have selected before. So that is it for now. If you found this video helpful then go ahead and hit the like button. If you're here on the channel for the first time then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.